What's up, everybody? Mac Gamer here, and today we're playing another episode of Terrarium. And today we are going to be trying to doing um, into the corruption, and we're going to be trying for getting good weapons. We're going to be trying and trying to find skylands and skylands and a bunch of other things. Anyways, if you like these episodes, smash the like button, uh, and um, if you really like like my series and my channel, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Never get um, notified on my most daily content content anyways today i actually have a list that i want to do so here's the list here one destroy two crimson hearts two find a floating island and three build a house for the next npc so anyways i hope you guys will enjoy this episode this list will get done pretty quickly and, well, I mean, hopefully pretty quickly. And I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, I meant um, Crimson and Crimson Hearts. Uh, sorry, I've been playing on my single-player world too much. Well, anyways, we are here. So, this is it. So here's the Crimson. Um, oh, god dang it. It's very hard to see at night. Um, calming Potion. Ooh. That could be pretty useful for here. Um, I don't have anything to heal me. This definitely isn't good. Uh, we might just need to get in there real quick and run. I'm on really low health. So, we might have to do this fast. Okay, I can't get enough speed, so I'm going to have to get a run up. Okay, I can't do it. I'm almost dead. I might actually just die here. I'm so close to it. But I swear to God, I might actually just die. I'm on six health. Oh my goodness. I got some sticky glow sticks. So I should just have some time to just heal... In this corner, where nothing can interrupt me. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't bring any healing potions. Uh, it's annoying. Well, anyways, I'm going to give you guys a quick review of my life. Now, what's been going on is, um, I have been working at school on online classes, and I have been keeping doing well to keep the house clean, you know, to get rid of any germs or viruses. And I actually just got back from going to the mountains. We went all the way to the top, and we went, and we went climbing in the woods. We went all the way up to the top of the mountain. We went like looking at trees. We could see the entire city of Tucson from the tip of the mountain, and it was amazing. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life, and it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. But um, not that wasn't the only part. We um um like found this like hotel in this town, which is really nice. And there was like, and we figured out there was a forest fire around, you know, thing, blah, 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 forest fire. And then it basically destroyed a bunch of cabins. So most of the cabins there were just brand new. So then it was just like, oh, so that means none of these cabins are old. They're all brand new and built. Um, They were all built in like, I don't know, soon. These guys I hate. It's it's really these guys I hate. Because they can crawl on the walls. And also these guys. Oh my god. Don't make me have to box myself in again. Eesh. Ah. Ooh. No. Okay. I destroyed something and I got health or something. I can't see. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay, I have bombs. Let's blow this thing up. Okay. So, get my hammer out. What do we get first? Obviously, going to be the gun. Yep. So, there's the gun done. That rhymed. The gun done. 
So now, which one do I do next? Oh, I can't get not. I can't get out. There we go. So now that I'm pretty much healed up, and I have no glow sticks or sense of torches. Uh, I didn't bring wood. So that means I'm gonna have to find a way of lighting up my way. Oh, that's good. Okay, hello, Mr. Jellyfish. Okay, goodbye, Mr. Jellyfish. Okay, I'm gonna throw a couple sticky bombs at this. Okay, I hope I get the Crimson Rod. You know, that would be pretty useful. Oh! Right, they say that I get the Crimson Rod. Well, that is task one of the list complete. Okay, so we got this Hurtful Undertaker. It's a pretty good gun. Nice. And we also have the Crimson Rod, which is like a basically an early game Nimbus Rod. I am definitely putting these in top. There we go. Nice. These are going to be very helpful for the Brain of Cthulhu. Yep. So anyways, on to the next one. Now we have to go try and see if we have any gravitation potions. And if we don't, we got to see how we make them. So let's see. Oh, Fallen Star. Better get that. I always want to make some mana. Can I make one? I can, actually. Um, I need a... Here it is. So I need... I can make two of them, actually. There you go. So... To make gravitation potions, I have potions chest. Do I have any? I do. So, oh, I did not mean to do that. I'm going to drink this, see if I can find any, um, Skylands. So, let's begin. Boop. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> well, I found a sky. I found a Skyland. Um. I died on it, so yeah, I found a Skyland, but, um, yeah, I forgot you take fall damage whenever you're upside down. So anyways, I better get the ropes out, and I guess, I guess I better start building. Okay, so this should be the place where it is, so I'm going to start building up to it. So, boop. Okay, we're on our way up. You know... It's kind of a weird way of doing it. I kind of, I just randomly died from fall damage because I landed on a skyland with the gravitational potion, completely forgetting that you take fall damage from it. And then I just like, okay, I guess I'm going to build my way up there with rope. So I might actually, no, I don't have enough. Well, gosh darn me. <laughs> you know what? Things are going to get real. Here we go. I am going to use blocks now. This is going to be ridiculous, but oh well. So. Boop. So I'm just going to keep on building and building and building until I get there. So you know what? I decided to just go back home, aka die, and just get some more rope because this is kind of getting weird so i just made the process easier for myself and just got more rope if i run out of rope this time that would be kind of weird um oh, okay yeah i'm not gonna run a rope so yeah So now I just got to get up there, which should not take an hour. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Clouds, man. I don't know why they're such a hard block to break. They're clouds. You should be able to pick them up instantly with a axe. I don't know. Get that last one. Just got to keep on building. Okay, I see it. And 
This might take a while. I'll skip ahead. Okay, guys, so we're almost there. Of course, the tree had to get in the way, so I had to do something about it. Yep. I had to dig up the 3 by 3 area and just yeet myself in there and then break out. So, yeah. I might want to get the heck inside this house as fast as I possibly can before these guys wreck me. Okay, what I get? Oh, Star Fury? Yeah, I'll definitely take it. 25 damage? 13 damage? Yeah, sure, I'll take it. And plus, I can damage these guys through the wall, so I don't even have to... And I can also aim where I want, want the stars to fall, so that's decent. That's not accurate. Ooh. Nice. It's pretty good. Pretty good. And we got a sky mill. You know, got everything else. I'll definitely take the chest. That would be very appreciated. Uh, I have some torches. You know, I'll turn this into an NPC house. And yeah, there's our first sky island found. So that's the next challenge done. On to the next one. Okay, so the next task today is to make more houses. Um, okay. And by doing that, we should probably just extend the roof. Um, I'm not really that buzzed about how it looks. Enemy loot. I'm more or less buzzed about um, how it functions and how it like like works i don't know what i'm saying <laughs> i have no idea what i'm saying today or right now but let's just get into it so first of all i'm gonna need a lot of trees so where is m oh there it is so there's my axe now i'm gonna have to chop down a lot of trees which as you can see um if i just go to my map real quick yeah, I ha I've chopped down quite a bit of them. So, I'm going to chop down a couple of trees, a lot of trees, and I'll bring you guys back whenever I've chopped down a lot of them. Like, a lot of them. Okay, I'm just going to say one thing. Getting that wood took such a long time. You know why? Because of the flipping zombies. There's just so many of them. So watch this. And the thing is, I can get these guys by range. See that? They can't hit platform, so I gotta be underneath the platform. Check this out. Yeet. See that? 98 damage. That was just a crit, though, so... It doesn't happen all the ways, but... Dang, I am in love with this thing. And you get to, like, rain it over here. I can rain it over here. I can rain it right on top of the building. I can rain it on this penguin over here. Everything is awesome. But anyways, I got a lot of wood, and I'm going to start building now. So, time to start. So where do I start? I mean, I guess I could just add another box on top. That would be, I guess, like, a pretty good solution. Just add another box. I was stuck inside the block there. Um. Yeah, terraria, boxes, portal. I don't, I don't know where portal came from, but I just said portal, so it's related with portal. But we are only making a house so we can get the boomer dried in here. Yeah. Do you know how old she is? She like over a boomer. She's like a zoomer. I don't even know what I'm saying, man. I have no idea what I'm saying. But she just... Oh, she like mil thousands of years old or something. I don't know. I, I don't know my logics. All I know is she... Oh, she a boomer. I, I'm really bad at this. I don't know, man. I, I I have no idea what I'm saying. Just just ignore me. Okay, so I'm going to need a lot more than that. Yeah, that should be good. So fill inside the wall. That was strange. That messed with my that messed with my mind for a second. 
that really did mess with my mind. So first off, we do this. We get the torches out. Bing. Bong. Bing. And then we go down. Make a chair. Make a table. Place down the chair. Place down the table. Housing is suitable. And it's ready to go. Oh yeah, and this goes here. Nice. This is going to be really easy. You like throw the ball and just summon the cloud. I think you can only have, yeah, you can only have one active at once. But that's fine. I can just do this. And that's it. The penguin will walk into it any second now. Doomed. You're like, he just like, he just like bounces. You know? Ooh, it's right in front. He's gonna walk right into it. I'm just gonna kill him anyway. So yeah. That is task three done for this episode. Now all I gotta do is wait for the dried to show up and I will see you guys in a second. I mean I wasn't looking for the traveling merchant, but I guess I mean I guess it's fine. It just depends on what he sells. DPS meter, Dispy Road, Foe, Yellow Counterweight, Fez. Um pretty sucky stuff to be honest. I mean I could get the counterweight. I do have enough for it. Should I do it? I'll do it. And it's guarding as well, so that's pretty good. So what equip. Now whenever I swing my yo-yo and hit an enemy or something, it like shoots a yellow counterweight. Boop. Yep. Yep, that's it. That's going to be quite useful for the brand of Cthulhu. But anyways, guys, I'm going to wait, and she should be here any second. Hey, here's the boomer. Whoa, pumpkin seeds. Yes, purification powder. That's what I need. Yep. Pretty good. Well, anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face. Hope you guys enjoyed this this Terraria series. Go check out my last episode where I defeated the Icathulu. Anyways, see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Bye.